<laughs> it's food fever time again. It's episode 41. It's... Oh, hell, you already know. Baseball season. It's baseball season. Thank God it's baseball season. I mean... I love this shirt, so why not? <laughs> Mm. Astros play the uh, <laughs> well, the Houston Astros. They play the uh, Tampa Bay Rays on Thursday. <laughs> if I actually am not lazy, I'll actually upload this before the game starts. Yeah, the Astros were pretty good last year. They weren't they weren't World Series champion kind of thing again, but. They were good enough to make it compelling, man. They were really, really compelling. So it's good to have that back again. I'm pretty glad. Um, uh, I mean, I'm glad for the Rangers, too. I, look, when the, Ra when the Rangers are the Rangers, the Astros just happen to rise and just as the Rangers kind of lost a little bit of relevance, you know, like, like I was, the, like I was following both teams for their respective runs at times, like, like those Rangers World Series losses pretty, hurt pretty bad. Of course, I had cable, so it kind of helped. It's like Rangers games were much easier to see than Astros games on cable. Then I lost cable, and it's like. Kind of just, uh, kind of more like a case by case thing, but I mean, a pennant run is still, I mean, it kind of worked out in 2017. It kind of just worked it just like that. Just watched, and pretty much as many games as I thought I could, you know? And then it was, that sells you pretty well, I mean. It was also the uh, 2015 series. Astros kind of make a run, and then they they blow a lead. I mean, there was a 10-year span where the Astros didn't make playoffs at all. 05 to 15, 10 years. Rangers make two World Series appearances in that time. They also lost, but still. And then the Rangers kind of just fell out of existence. Eventually, I'll, I've been meaning um, I'll find a way to, you know, justify getting a Rangers hat, you know? So I actually do appreciate the Rangers. It's just, you know, at this moment in time, I'm not a bandwagon fan. It's just more like, let's just go with the Astros. Let's just roll with this. It's, they're a fun team. They're fine. I'd love to go to the game. I gotta get a vacation or something on. Get a few days off and just say, like, hey, let's go to Houston. Let's go to Houston. Let's uh, take a bus to the city or something. I don't know. Something entertaining. What do I think about that team? Well, they could be a fun team again. I don't know if the Astros can simply just be the favorite, but it's good to hear them be, you know, listed as one of those teams. It's compelling. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, you don't know if they can win it all, but you know that they can. They could. They, they can. They have. It's a fun time. So I'm gonna watch the opening day game at a at a sports bar place or something, just to enjoy something. It's a Thursday afternoon. I get, got my day off, but like, uh, day off. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's get this out of the way. I did it last year too, so it's like obviously there's no real wait. There's no real reason not not to.
It's weird that opening day is so early, though. <laughs> it's the 28th, and that's the opening day. I, mean, it, I would think April would be more, more in tune, but no, it's March. Right as the uh, NCAA tournament gets closes itself down. It's already Sweet 16 stuff. See? Oh, the Houston team's in it. The Cougs. The Houston Cougars, of all things. Imagine that. Them in Texas Tech. In the Sweet 16. That's pretty compelling. Uh, the tournament, though, has been pretty lame. Not as many upsets. Just kind of just closes down a little. But who knows? Let's see who makes it all the way. I get a kick out of it. See if I can catch a game or two. I'm not going to watch the whole I don't go and just, oh my god, I want to watch it on the whole thing. It's a few games. Like Wofford and Satan Hall. That was kind of fun. Hmm. <coughs> it's a good time. So I do that. And just enjoy. Um, yeah, I just enjoy the rest of it. It's hard to find someone who just goes right for baseball. Like, oh, football, oh, basketball. But baseball? Come on. Baseball's fun. I get a real kick out of it. it it's the only sport you can just watch and you really have to pay attention to. It's like, yeah, cool. There's a bit more to it than just you know, football. I might get a kick of it. I'm not, I'm not a purist for that. Baseball is baseball. <laughs> it happens to be a thing for the spring. Well, I think I'm going to close this episode out by saying, hey, there's only 11 of these to go after this. Oh, yeah, other thing. I hope baseball season's pretty good. I hope the teams that would be that I have a good interest for do their job. Uh, who would those teams be, huh? Well, there's the Astros, the uh, Rangers, Padres, San Diego Padres, hey, uh, Colorado Rockies, I, those kind of things. Oh, and the Cleveland Indians. There we go. Go Cleveland. <laughs> That's fun. I, I, I kind of uh, care about the Cubs, but more of a just... It's like, eh. I mean, it's playing the Cardinals or somebody that go Cubs, but nothing like that. But you get my point, though. Those kind of teams I go, go into. I'll see you folks later. It's time for Food Beaver 2. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, go do different things. So, <laughs> until next episode.